Yes. Um, my name is Max Schachter. My little boy Alex was one of the first victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre. The monster that took Alex's life was able to shoot right through the glass window in Alex's classroom door. Alex was not protected in the one place that he should have been. Ever since that horrible Valentine's Day afternoon, I've been on a mission to make school safe so that Alex and the other beautiful souls did not die in vain. It's been 19 years since Columbine, and the latest study the FBI just released said that between 2000 and 2007, we have been having on average 6.4 attacks per year. Between 2007 and 2013, we had a horrifying 16.4 attacks per year. And in 2017, we had over 30 attacks that year alone. We cannot wait another day, another month, another 19 years to make our school safe. After the attack on our federal building in Oklahoma City, we formed an agency to develop building standards to protect anyone entering a federal building. And it worked. After 9-11, we created the TSA and they developed standards to protect our airports and it worked. The gentleman behind me and I are here because we want to make sure our children are as safe and protected as our pilots, federal employees, and airports. With me now are some of the largest law enforcement associations that are responsible for protecting our nation. They are the first responders to any life-threatening emergency. I know these brave men and women in uniform around the country experience tremendous amounts of pain every time there is a school shooting. I know they want to save lives, and I am so thankful they're standing here with, with me today to announce a collaborative effort to identify, compile, and develop best practices related to physical security of school campuses and school incident response to improve the safety of our children, their teachers, and the school staff who support them. We can make it so teachers can teach and children can learn without the fear that they're going to be killed in their classroom. And this is a big first step. So I wanna thank uh, all the law enforcement gentlemen behind me. Uh, and I'd like to first ask uh, the Executive Director of the Indiana Sheriff's Association, Steve Luce, to say a few words. Thank you, Max, and we are truly honored here to be with Max. Uh, we see Max as a uh, real hero, not only for law enforcement, but communities and how we can work together and be collaborative in protecting the students uh, for the future and our leaders also. Thank you, Max, and I'd like to introduce Sheriff Tim Troyer of the Indiana Sheriff's Association. Thank you. President of the Indiana Sheriff's Association, 2016, Indiana signed into law, Public Law 27, creating best practices for school safety in Indiana. The Indiana sheriffs uh, have continued to work forward in Indiana and other states and work with other states with making our schools safer. In all of the school safety efforts across the nation, nothing is more important to law enforcement than protecting our children. Representing 92 sheriffs in Indiana, I'm excited to come together with our nation's law enforcement organizations and associations as one voice to create together national school safety best practices, a collective monumental effort to improving school safety and better protecting our children, teachers, and the staff that support them. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Lou Deckmar. I'm the president of the International Association of Chiefs of Police, representing 150 nations with 30,000 members. I first wanna commend and thank Max for channeling the uh, obviously uh, very disturbing horrendous challenge that, that he had the death of his son and recognize the fact that he's taken that as an opportunity to lead in an effort that is long overdue. This collaboration allows us to develop policies, training, leadership, reviews, and in the process of doing that, uh, provide guidelines to the over 18,000 law enforcement agencies in this country. The challenge is to come up with recommendations and best practices that can be embraced and implemented by agencies that represent 10 officers and as many as 40,000. And I'm confident that with the leadership that's been demonstrated by Max in organizing this group, 
and the representatives that are here today that uh, this will be able to uh, uh, better provide protection to not only our schools, but afford confidence and comfort to our community. So thank you. My name is Mark Keel. I'm president of the Association of State Criminal Investigative Agencies. We represent 47 of the 49 state uh, state police agencies that do criminal investigation. And like has already been said, uh, there's nothing more important than the safety of our children. We know that our schools have vulnerabilities. And as an agency that represents uh, our organization, we know that from investigating, getting called to many of these uh, incidents and investigating these incidents, we know that there are things that we can do to improve the physical security and to enhance the response to these incidents. So we are committed as an organization to assist and work with all the uh, associations represented here today to do what we can to make our schools safer so that our children come home at the end of the school day. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Sheriff John Layton from Indianapolis and I'm the National Sheriff's Association President. And I, I'd just like to say that Max, standing here to my left, Mr. Max Shatner, uh, he's the driving force for so many different police organizations to come together in Washington, D.C. and address this problem. And let's, let's, let's start putting a cap on this and the children that are being killed across our nation. Max didn't just represent himself and his family. He represents so many families across this nation who have lost children and loved ones with these senseless shootings. Law enforcement is gonna take step up to the plate. Law enforcement is gonna take the lead and law enforcement is gonna take care of business. Along with all of our partners in education, the judicial system, we're all gonna to come together and we're gonna get this done. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Sheriff Scott Masher from Arizona. I came all the way out here today to meet with law enforcement officials from all over this country. And it's absolutely critical that we work on prevention and slowing down or stopping all of this active type of shooting that's taking place. I think we can come up with best practices and I'm here today representing uh, the National Sheriff's Association as well as the Western State Sheriff's Association. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Clarence E. Cox III. I'm the National President for the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. We represent over 3,000 members across the country with 60 chapters and the largest African American affinity group in the law enforcement profession. I stand here today proud with my brothers-in-law and my sisters who are not represented here because we get to do something today that's more than offering a word of condolence, a lowering of flag, a moment of silence. I think that this is the first comprehensive uh, group meeting that we are going to get something done. I'm confident with the conversations I've had today with my colleagues that we are all committed and dedicated to bring in something really close to home some safety. Um, as a former school police chief, I have a passion for our babies. And studies have shown that obviously our children cannot learn when they're afraid. And certainly we've got to make these campuses across this country safe and an enjoyable learning environment for the, two, the, st the students, teachers, and staff, and the visitors who visit these, visit these campuses. So again, I'm excited with Mr. Schaffner's efforts to get us together and I'm certainly elated for the work that we're going to be doing in the future. Thank you. My name is Mike Kersey and I'll be representing the National Tactical Officer Association which uh, represents every SWAT organization in North America. Uh, for a long time we've been tasked with uh, training pride, providing the best practices for law enforcement in response to crisis incidents and uh, it takes a team effort and what you see here behind us is a team effort of law enforcement that will do anything necessary to bring in meaningful change to school safety. And I'm excited uh, about the effort that you're seeing here. And um, Max Schachter, again, is a hero among heroes to take a tragedy and spin off um, such a positive influence. Um, it's just outstanding. Haven't seen any effort like it ever. Thanks. 
Good afternoon. My name is Dave Anderson. I'm the uh, Acting Assistant Chief with Montgomery County, Maryland. And uh, on behalf of Chief uh, Tom Manger, I'm also representing the Major City Chiefs Association. I too would like to thank Max and for all his resolve and his effort um, putting this group together, uh, having a summit to talk about school safety. I will tell you that uh, I think for most of us, this is some of the most uh, important work that we've ever had in our careers. Uh, this work matters and an alliance is what we need. Uh, history has shown that when you work together and you have a partnership that you are going to be successful. But make no mistake about it, this is not just a law enforcement partnership that we need. We have to have community members, we have to have educators, we have to have everyone involved that is looking out at the horizon. We are the sentinels for our children and we have to make sure that this works and it works well. So Max, I just want to say thank you very much for stepping up and leading this charge. Thank you. Um, I just want to uh, introduce, we have Congressman uh, Mario diaz Bilar here, uh, a good friend of mine and, and, a, and a gentleman that is doing everything he can to make schools safe and uh, I'm just extremely happy for all of his support and everything that he's done in the Appropriations Committee uh, to provide language and provide funding. He's doing a tremendous job and I thank him for his leadership and partnership and uh, you know, Congressman diaz Bilar like, you say I, I, I Actually, I, thank you, Max. Uh, just a privilege to be with this uh, this group of heroes here, and as has been stated, Max, um, who I didn't, I barely knew, uh, you know, two months ago, right, uh, has now uh, shown what happens when you when you have commitment and you are willing to just break down barriers, and uh, so he's become a friend. But more importantly, he's 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 shown what leadership means when somebody. Is, again, is willing to just break down barriers, and so he, working uh, with Max's leadership, and uh, we were able to jointly uh, put not only funding but language and two appropriations bills to start this process in a meaningful way, to have language, to make sure that we that we secure the schools, but would also have funding, and none of this uh, would have happened without uh, without this individual who. Uh, is trying to do everything in his power to make sure that others don't have to suffer uh, what he is having to suffer. So and it's a privilege to be with uh, you know individuals who frankly put their lives on the line for our safety every single day. And Max, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your courage. And uh, know that we're together, we're gonna continue to work to make sure that every school is safe and that our kids can go to school safely. So thank you, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you very much.